All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your brand new grow station kit. Um, when you get the kit, you're gonna have four pieces of wood like this, 16 inches long, two that look like this, one that looks like that, and one that looks like that. So the first thing we're gonna do is take one of these and take this guy slide it in there and I'll take the other one and slide it in here then I'll take the other side and pop it on like that boom now it's a little wobbly we can fix that that's what these little pieces are for so I'm gonna slide these things in there they're called tusks Uh, let's put it in with a little bit of force okay now it's nice and sturdy all right so that's step one is to assemble the frame next we're gonna take the burlap bag fill it with soil and uh, seal it up put in the clay pot and um, put in some seeds so I'm gonna undo the twine save the twine we're gonna need it later Okay, when I unroll this, here's my clay pot. Inside I have some hooks. We'll put those on later if you want, they're optional. Okay, so now I've got this cool burlap bag. I'm gonna set this aside. And the next step is to fill this soil. Um, so I'll do that really quick. As I'm filling this with soil, I like to I like to make it settle on the bottom, so I kind of bounce it around a little bit like that. <clears throat> I kind of help massage the soil into the to the bottom, into the corners. Okay, so what I want to do is fill it with soil, enough soil, so that the top, um, the top pieces of fabric fit together with a little bit of room. I have not much room at the top. You'll have more material on the sides. That's fine. Next, I'm going to take the twine and there are holes um, spaced out every like two and a half inches across the top and we're just going to loop some twine in there tie it off cut it and repeat that uh, four times um, all that's going to do is just keep the soil in so we can move this around if we need to uh, and we do need to when we put the seeds in um, so that the soil doesn't spill got a filled bag it's sealed across the top there's a little bit of gap right here in the center so I'm gonna take my clay pot and slide that in there and now I'm just gonna kind of flatten this out a little bit I'm doing this so that it's gonna fit in this frame nicely so that if you hang it on a fence it will it won't stick out too much okay so now it looks like that it's kind of flat on both sides and we've got our clay pot in there it's almost ready to put inside the frame but first I'm going to add some seeds all right so I have uh, some native wildflower seeds a mix from the Theodore Payne Foundation 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a, uh, some little holes. Um, I'm just going to take a screwdriver. Um, I'm not going to damage the sack. I'm just spreading apart the fibers a little bit to make some room. And what I like to do, and this is optional, uh, uh, what I like to do is make uh, nine holes. So basically three rows of three. Okay, like that. All right, now this is just basically, I'm making gaps this wide. So then I can take these tiny little wildflower seeds and I drop them in the hole. I take four or five, no exact science here, but um, adding multiple seeds gives me multiple chances that they'll germinate. There's a pretty good success rate. So I usually end up with um, several plants coming out of each hole. Um, you can experiment with this, depending on what you're planting. Okay. And then once I've kind of sprinkled those on, I kind of tap them in just a little bit not too far. And when I made the initial hole, I didn't um, push it down too deep. We don't want a, we don't want a deep hole. We're just really trying to make a little gap in the fabric. All right, that's it. So now I'm going to put this inside the frame. to do is add water so uh, with the kit you have to bring your own bottle um, I like glass bottles uh, this is a red wine bottle you can use plastic bottles um, anything with a long neck is ideal because it will sit perfectly in there like that um, before I fill that with water and add um, uh, and set that up I'm gonna put the hooks on so you can see how to do that so I can go ahead and flip this over and I'm going to put the hooks. Um, I basically just position them um, kind of where the crossbar uh, at the top of the crossbar, at the top of the hook, at the top of this uh, piece of wood that goes across. Um, there's two little holes there. I've got wood screws, four wood screws, uh, two for each hook. Just take a screwdriver. Um, you could pre-drill pre pilot holes if you wanted to. Um, it's generally not necessary with these. seeds on one side, um, on this side. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put seeds on the other side. It's the same process. Okay. Okay, both sides are planted. Now I'm going to take my water bottle and fill it up. And then I just drop it in. Now what will happen is the water is going to slowly seep through that clay pot into the soil all the way out to the edges of, edges of the bag and that will make the seeds germinate so they'll start to uh, start to pop out you'll have little seedlings in a week or two uh, starting to uh, put out their first leaves so and that's it feel free to send me an email if you have any questions and uh, happy growing